Welcome, everyone. I just need to make sure I can hear myself as I'm talking. Today is a big day. Today we are talking YOLO Box Ultra. Let me move this out of the way. It'll stay on for another couple hours. Uh, the YOLO Box Ultra. Ooh. I would hold it up, but uh, it's going to be backwards on the screen because I, I wear a flipped screen. I wear a flipped shirt so that when I point with my right hand to the right corner, it's not flipped on the camera. So I, I unflip it. Um, so there's that. I do have my own content coming through a laptop uh, computer over there. So give me a second. Let me go over there and stop this. All right, apologize for that. I have, like I says, I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screens going on today. And I had to pull more cables out of my drawer than I thought I would need. Uh, but today is an exciting show. And um, we're going to go live on Instagram right now. So hello to everyone on Instagram uh, as well. We'll see if we get any viewers on there today. Do, 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 do. I'm going to make this. How do I do this? I make it larger. No, there we go. Larger. All right, it's on Instagram. I don't change the shot on Instagram. It's just like this uh, the whole time. Um, and I remember we have the Yola Live giveaway today. Um, I do have a replacement laptop. We saw a couple weeks ago, I had a problem with the laptop, couldn't do it. I did a test, it worked fine, pairing up the thing. And um, for those of you uh, who care to know, uh, the, 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 this is the laptop that I was using. It's an Acer. And uh, I bought another one just like it because I like it. So um, that is what we are using today for our uh, web feed. And I have uh, a mini providing a countdown. I have cameras. I have a bunch of things. I even have an NDI camera because um, that's one of the big things about the Ultra is it does have NDI. NDI. What does NDI? Uh, let's go into that first because uh, a lot of people are like, you know, there's a lot of really key features about the Ultra. And let's look at this thing. Uh, let's do uh, it right here. This is the Ultra. I mean, it looks just like a pro. Do I have a, um, I'm using my pros. Uh, it looks just kind of like a pro. It's a little taller. It's not going to fit in the same case. So you will need a new case if you want to go Ultra. Um, I should have like a reverb button for that anytime you want to go ultra, but uh, it's going to be really cool. I, as you can see, I don't have any overlays built in this. It is fresh, clean out of the box. And the first thing you will notice is I have HDMI 1, HDMI 2, HDMI 3, HDMI 4, USB 1. It's a live camera right there. USB 2 is that feed coming from the mini. That's six inputs into a tablet. Six live camera inputs hardwired into the laptop. You can see them right here. One, two, three, not that one, that's output. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's a thing. That is a thing. That is an amazing thing. And um, you see the video playing, you see, I'm live on all these cameras. Uh, actually, HDMI 3 is the output of the in-stream. <laughs> so uh, this is being fed to the in-stream and then back over here. Um, this is exciting. This is very, very exciting. So Ultra questions, start throwing them in the chat. Uh, let me know what your questions you have. It is not limited to the Ultra. We're It's a live streaming show. Uh, so if you have live streaming questions, audio questions, camera questions, uh, microphone questions, lighting questions, business questions, monitoring questions. Uh, we will hopefully get to all of them. Uh, and we have a big audience today. I am, um, when I saw it, kind of, yeah, oh man, we got a big audience today. Hopefully I can keep up with your uh, comments and questions. Um, 
as always i like to know where everyone is watching from so let me know where you're watching from and i should do my standard introduction for those who don't know my name is anthony barocas i am a content producer for yolo live and as everyone has seen uh the ultra is arriving it's not just shipping it's arriving and um Thankfully, I have been uh, working with the YOLO team on the Ultra, and um, I have one here, and I am able to do a walkthrough with you, answer questions, and give you like the, the most exciting features of this thing. What, what are the most exciting features of this thing? Um, if you are new to YOLO and you are watching on Facebook, LinkedIn, or Instagram, uh, know that there is a YOLO Live tech channel on YouTube where all the tutorials, um, uh, update videos and things like that are published there. Uh, so if you're looking to get started or learn about particular features, that's where to go. If you have questions, there is a an official YOLO Live user group on Facebook. Facebook does a great job, job translating between languages and the official, the YOLO Live staff are in there uh, helping to answer questions and also asking questions of end users of what they want to see or how things they want implemented. If you are Spanish speaking Espanol, uh, there's YOLO Box in Espanol. Uh, it's uh, a separate group, but all in Spanish. So uh, if that is your primary language and you communicate much better in Spanish, that's where to go. And lastly, if you need to reach out to YOLO Live directly, there is contact at yololive.com. Uh, let me bring this back up. And once again, remember we have a giveaway, one month free bonding package. How do you enter? Well, you can go to bit.ly slash YOLO dash Tech Talk Wednesdays. That's the URL. If that is just too much for you to type, then uh, point your phone or second device at this little uh, QR code. This is why my thing is reversed, because otherwise I'd have to point this way to point at something that's over there. So I, that's the why they have the flip. So point your um, device at this. You'll get a little questionnaire for your name, your email address, your email address again, because you may have spelled it wrong one of those times. And then tell us a little bit about your setup. Are you, uh, do you already have your ultra in hand? Are you a pro user, mini user, in-stream user? Or do you just hope to get uh, which model, you know, are you looking at getting in the future? Let us know. We're curious. Uh, I'm going to move this part out of the way. I'm going to leave that up there for a second. And um, <clears throat> let's go back to the comments. Do, 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 do. As always, what streaming questions do you have for me? How do I get my own questions on there? I actually go to Facebook and I type them in. <laughs> and then I can bring them up because the YOLO box is an all in one device. For those who don't know, who are new to YOLO box, who may be watching this later, the YOLO box, let me go to the side by side, do, 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 overhead, overhead. Okay, the YOLO box, that thing over there is brings in cameras. So it lets you switch these cameras down here, multi camera live switching. It can record. You see where it says record at the top there? I'm going to use, look at my hand on the green. It says record. There's instant replay. You can go at multiple uh, qualities. And because this is the ultra, right there, you see it says 4K. So it can ingest 4K. Um, my personal note on 4K is um, the audience for 4K is this tiny and the challenges with producing 4k are this big so um while it can do 4k and you could bring in a 4k source like a gh4 from panasonic my personal fave i've got a bunch of them um i would still stream at 1080p a good solid 1080p is going to entertain and inform just as well as a 4k and be a whole lot less headache uh, I'm going to close that. So I'm going to stick with 1080p. Um, it is an audio mixing tool. Oh, now i got to move the overlay. Do, 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 do. It is an audio mixing tool. So you see over here, audio follows video. I've got all my different inputs over here. HDMI 4, USB 1, USB 2, USB 3. Um, for those existing uh, YOLO box users, 
I'm going to show you your first, okay, aside from the fact you get six inputs, your next, I just say next, your next really cool feature. Uh, I'm going to turn on HDMI 1 and I'm going to turn on USB 1. And you'll notice no warning came up because now you can mix USB audio with other sources. And by mix, I mean together at the same time. Uh, doo -doo -doo, that's a cool feature. Next up, we have a scoreboard display. Check that out. You can, if you're doing sports, you've got a scoreboard built in. Do, 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 do. I'm going to go put that away. Next up, ISO recording. <laughs> you can record HDMI 1, HDMI 2, HDMI 3, and let's look, I'll just turn them on like that. And then I can set the bit rate. Uh, okay, I'm going to record 2997 for all of those sources. And I can record this at 20 megabits while I'm streaming at four. Two different bit rates. That is a very, very cool feature that has long been asked for in the Pro. But the Pro, that processor is not capable of it. It's, it's you know, it's the iPhone 12. You know, now we're up to the 15. Um, and the 15 does all these great things. Same with the Olabox. The new, the new model has these new features because it has a newer processor, a bigger processor, and more capability. So look at that. You could also record in 4K, but um, I'm going to keep it at 1080p. H.264 and H.265. What is, what is the difference for those who don't know? H.264 is MPEG-4, MP4, M4V. Uh, that's all, all the different suffixes. That's pretty much the default standard for video distribution in, 2000, in 2023. Um, it's, it's how you distribute things on a Blu-ray disc. It's how you distribute things over the web. That's how you upload video to YouTube. It's how most cameras and camcorders record things internally, MP4. Um, and that is a great codec. MP or HEVC iPhones can record to HEVC. Some of the latest um, cell phones from every manufacturer can record to HEVC. It's the high efficient efficiency video codec. It's just like H.264, except it's it can compress it more, which means it has to do more work. It's a little bit more processing. But H.265 can give you uh, about the same quality as H.264 with almost half the bit rate, almost. I'd say 60% the bit rate. It, it depends on what your what your video is. But H.265, and then of course you could also always say how much, how often do you want to cut it, and your storage settings, where do you want it to go, whether your SD card or portable storage. I'm gonna keep going down this list. You've got your auto switch, you know, you can loop things and you know, you can select a bunch of cameras and then you can have it switch automatically between those sources and then output that. Auto switch is a great feature. If you already have the Pro, um, you're aware of this. So it is also in here as well. And then of course you have your, your settings, your switching control, your video out settings. NDI video out. You can turn that on. Video source, stream card, you know, m much of this is the same. And, and then your replay settings. Replay, you can actually turn off. That is something I particularly ask for because when you're managing resources, if I'm doing a conference, I don't need to have replay constantly caching the data the entire time because I'm never going to have, wow, my goodness, what did that senator just say? Let's go back and replay it. No, I'm recording it. <laughs> it's not sports. So I can turn that off. And that's pretty cool. Uh, do, do, do. And those are the settings down along the bottom. And here, look at this. This now scrolls. In the Pro, you had to go between pages. This now scrolls. Um, and let me take a little um, digression here and talk about the fact that YOLO Live as a company, um, for those who have been using YOLO Live for a year or more, you all know that the company continues to improve the previous generations because there have been many improvements in the Pro in the two and a half years since it came out that weren't there when it first came out. When it first came out, it could not mix multiple channels of audio. You did not have remote guests. You did not have um, 
uh, auto switching. You, there's like so many different features that it did not have. It's hard to even recall how basic it was when it first came out. The Ultra is going to be the same. It's going to come out at a certain way, but because of the increased capability of the hardware within it, you can look forward to a couple years of growth with the Ultra. Now, I know a lot of people have expressed in the group that, oh, I guess this means the other ones aren't going to be looked at anymore. That's actually been proven to not be the case because this year, 2023, YOLO Live actually introduced a pretty decent update for the original YOLO box from six years ago that includes a lot of the features that had been put into the Pro. So like this scrolling thing oops i'm switching cameras switching cameras switching cameras um this scrolling is something i expect to filter down to the pro and that i think is a great feature because the pro you have to like switch between one panel or the next panel i can't just like put it in the middle of of my sources or where i want to like technically i can reach one two three four six seven eight. i can do nine cameras right here without having to move you can't do that on the pro because you have to flip between the top page and the bottom page also on the Pro, you're limited to three times four is 12. You're limited to two pages. Maybe that'll change in the future, but right now you're limited to 12. The Ultra is not. I have kept going. I think I have had up to 19 sources um, lined up and you just scroll right through them. And that is pretty darn impressive. Uh, another key thing that I have found is like when you say add a source and you come down here to your multi views, you're like, oh, there's only one side by side. There's only one pip. There's only one split view. No, you can do five pips. You can do five side by sides, six side by sides. You're not limited anymore. I think I did six, six or seven side by sides as a test. And I then pushed it past the 12 inputs because I just had all these different things lined up. And that is a fantastic feature. So they don't need to have one and two like they do on the Pro. You have side by side. This is what I want to add. And I'm, then I go back and this, you know, side by side. I want to add a side by side with this and this. Done. Oh, I like that better too. Background, done. So now I got a side by side. Add, come down here, side by side. Uh, this and this, done. That is a background, done. I want to add a side by side. Come down here, side by side. This and this, done. Throw a background on it, done. So now I've already got three side by sides. Huh? Huh? Are we talking excitement here? Me personally, I was jazzed when I saw that. I was like, well, now that I have all these different inputs, I'm really excited to see the fact that I am not limited to just two side by sides or two pips. That was just an exciting little advancement for me. And we're just talking <laughs> horizontal at this point. Remember, the Yola box is both a horizontal or a vertical production tool. And let me make uh, a, something very clear. If you're doing a horizontal production, you don't necessarily want to send what you're doing horizontal out to a vertical world because they're, you know, the audience wants to see stuff stacked. Um, in the vertical world, they're seeing this, this tall thing, and you don't necessarily want to bring that into a horizontal world because then you get nothing on the sides. The two different audiences want to see content that is tailored to them. So in the horizontal world, I have a side by side. In the vertical world, do I have a way to bring that in there? I probably don't. But uh, in the vertical world, wait, maybe I can do this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I do this. So you can kind of see that in the vertical world, I have, wait, I have this and no, I have this. Why is it upside down? Oh, let me put me over that. There we go. So there we go. Oh, okay. Because it's not in vertical mode, but you can see that it is stacked with me, the screen that I'm talking about, and then my title in a vertical way on the, the platform. So vertical gets a whole different layout than horizontal. And by doing that, the two different audiences get to see what they expect to see. And to do that in 
in my live show right now, what I'm doing is I have a pro doing the horizontal and then I have an in-stream doing the vertical. Even though the ultra can do horizontal or vertical, it's not going to do both at the same time. First, you wouldn't be, you know, giving either audience the best show you could. Secondly, if you're designing for horizontal, you're not designing for vertical. If you're designing for vertical, you're not designing for horizontal. It's best to do a horizontal show or a vertical show. Now, what that means for the Ultra is you don't have to buy two different devices to do an in-stream thing or a, you know, or a horizontal thing on YouTube. You don't have to have two different devices. But if you're going to try to do both simultaneously, yes, you will still need two devices. Um, I have blathered on enough. Let me get to the comments here. Uh, Shaughnessy is in Kildare, Ireland. Uh, do, do, do Jimmy Talks Texas just got mine today into the unboxing. We'll put it through its paces this weekend on some shoots. Uh, as I always say, test, test, test. Don't just take any piece of hardware. Like anytime, you know, YOLO, YOLO updates the Pro, I give it a test here in the studio. It's a non-broadcast test. Test it first. Make sure it's going to do everything you want it to do with the settings you want to use first before you go out into the field and uncover something you didn't expect. Um, there's always things we don't expect, even with the Pro, even with the units that have been out for years. Always test. Do, 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 do. Hello from Bosnia and Herzegovina. Do, do, do. JJ's Aviation C says hello. Good to see you. Uh, Ultra expected for today's live stream. Excited. Uh, Julio from Atlantic City. Do, do, do. Benson says hello from Kuwait. Oh, no, UPS appears to have lost my Ultra. I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe they wanted to use it. Hmm. <laughs> Monty, I see what you did there. Uh, Reaction YouTube says, hello from the Windy City. Sim Racing Revolution says, just got my Ultra yesterday. Many questions. Throw them in the comments. Uh, Andreas says, hello from Greece. Well, hello to you. Uh, write down in, in the comments what hello is in Greek. And I'll try to read it and get it wrong. <laughs> Good morning from Pico Riviera, California. Um, please rub it in. I will. <laughs> Jerry Kellum says he's in Barbados. Clemen is in Ljubljana. Am I even getting close to that? Uh, I don't know. Sim Racing is in uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, Peru Tama Palka. Uh, Avo Asoyan says hello. Pink hand waving. Kirk Riley is still in Dallas, Texas. Yeah, sorry we didn't meet up. <laughs> it's just been really busy. Uh, Aram Production is in France. Hand pink waving. Uh, we got to talk to YOLO and get these ha pink hand waving to actually be pink hand waving things. In Seal Beach, California. Uh, Atlanta is in the building. When will the Yolo Box Ultra be on the market? Well, as we've already seen in the comments, people are receiving those. Different markets have different lead times, but they are indeed shipping. Uh, Sim Racing Revolution, no Insta360 link support yet. Frank says he's working on it. Yes, the, like I said, these things, the all of the Yolo Boxes, even the Mini, even the original Yolo Box, these are all still works in progress. They will all, you know, it's it's this is these are not ship it and it's done and never look at it again. These are ship it and what can we do to improve it? Get the feedback from end users. And these have been in beta for about a month or a month and a half. And beta testers have been going through and making improvements and, you know, just pounding these things and trying to see where, where the creeks are and everything. And that is not going to be the same as putting them out into the world. Because the same with Apple. Apple just came out with the iPhone 15, right? And they announced it. You know it's been in beta testers. You know it's been in people's hands. You know they've been going through revisions for the software and everything. And they announced it and it came out and it started to ship. And guess what? 15.01 update. Why? Because once it reaches the public and you get a million hands on it, they find more bugs. So there's always more to work on. Uh, what's up from New York City? Uh, there are no limits for live streaming. Well, not anymore. Do, 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 do. Does the network bonding, does it support the network bonding without any payments? No. 
And um, if you're not paying for bonding through any service, then it's probably not bonding. Uh, and, and I say that, and I've said this many times on the show before, so you know, apologize to those who have heard this. Um, bonding is taking your signal from your YOLO box and then chopping it up into a bunch of different things and handing it out to like one, two, three, four, one, two, like, like a dealer dealing cards. And all those cards go different routes and they all arrive at the server out of order. Well, so YOLO Live, Teradeck, Kilo View, uh, everybody that does Live View, anybody that does bonding has to pay for a server to sit in the cloud somewhere. They have to pay for the computer. They have to pay programmers to program it and update it and maintain it and cool it and power it and everything. And that server takes all those packets in and puts them back into the proper order and then ships it off to YouTube or wherever you're sending it. That costs money. And if you're not paying for a debonding server, then it's probably not true bonding. KiloView actually offers the server software to you. You deploy it on your computer. So you're not paying someone else to do it, but you have to provide the computer. You have to power the computer. You have to program the computer. You have to maintain the computer. You have to provide the internet connection to the computer. You are paying for all of that. So one way or another, you're paying for it. Uh, do do there seems to be a lot. Oh, did I? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, there seems to be a lot of lag from line in. Do, 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 do. Wesley Matherin from Atlanta, Georgia. Good to see you. And Photo Cuts for You is watching in the UK. Oh, wait, another one. Uh, Thurcroft in Rotterdam, UK. Uh, size limit SD cards. ISO recordings will definitely fill up some cards. Same as the Pro. Good question. Really good question. Same as the Pro. One terabyte cards, uh, one terabyte USB stick. However, remember, um, we're talking megabits here. So yes, uh, you're not going to be recording ProRes. There is no ProRes setting. So you're not doing 300 megabits per camera. You're doing 20 megabits per camera. And you're doing four megabits on the stream. A one terabyte card will carry you a long, long, long way. Watching from Haiti, especially Island of Lugonav. Gonav, Gonave? I get it. Hello from Garabon in Botswana. Man, a big, big audience around the world today. I hope that I can finally use a regular mic with my webcam with the new Ultra. Uh, should be able to. Do, 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 do. Hello from Kuwait. Uh, is the NDI for inputs on the Ultra only, or can you NDI from the HDMI output to another source as well? Both. Uh, there's an NDI input and there's an NDI output. So you can then see the output of the Pro somewhere else. Uh, if you have um, NDI tools, which are available free at ndi.tv, you can then get virtual camera and bring NDI into uh, Zoom, Teams, whatever else as a virtual camera. And you don't actually need a wire from your YOLO box to your laptop, assuming they're on the same network. NDI, for those who don't know, I should have my NDI book. Oh, there it is, it's up there. Um, I did an article for streaming media called uh, All In On NDI. And what NDI is basically taking video from your camera, this is a Mevo start, video from your camera, and it puts it on your local area network, whether via Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Doesn't matter. They're all your local area network. So here's your router and everything else underneath your your router. And as I've as I've said in other networking groups, um, think of your Wi-Fi or your Ethernet cables as your video cables. They have to be yours. Don't show up at a public place and expect to use the public Wi-Fi to connect your cameras over Wi-Fi. Never do that. Bring your own Wi-Fi. Rule one, bring your own Wi-Fi. Um, but you can bring in an external source. So let us do, 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 go back to this and uh, go here. Yeah, I got a bunch of switches. So. 
uh, we'll go to that just so it's a little clearer, or I will go to this, and then uh, go to titles just so that's clear. Come down here, add a video source, come down here, and do, 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 do. you see I can bring in uh, at the top HDMI 1, HDMI 2, HDMI 3, HDMI 4. Let's go to the overhead. Uh, USB 1, USB 2, USB C. So technically that's four, five, six, seven. Local video 1. Local video two, images, PDFs, a live stream. Remember, I showed you in, in a two weeks ago remote show uh, how you can have multiple YOLO boxes on the same account. And if one is streaming somewhere else, could be a different city, you can see it and bring it in here. So you, you can then bring in your Chicago show into your London production. You have NDI and SRT. SRT is another way of going point to point. So if you had uh, a camera or a remote camera and you wanted to send it up to the web and send it directly into this box, you could do that via SRT. NDI is more of a local area network thing. So if I click on NDI, it's gonna look at my network. This is Wi-Fi in my office and I have an NDI camera right over there. You can see I have my stream for us my vmix output too so i actually have a show later today that i'm doing for another client so my vmix is up and running and the output of vmix is being output on ndi and then i have this camera i'm going to click on that say done and here you see that is a camera way over there and i can control that because it's ndi i have an app here from bird dog that i can remotely control my camera so I can pan it to the right, I can pan it to the left, I can tilt it up, I can tilt it down, I can zoom in. It's only a 10x, although that seems more than 10. Let me come down a little bit so it'll have something to focus on. Hello everyone, and then I'll zoom back out. So this is NDI and the other real magic of NDI is the fact that once that camera is on the network, any other device on the network can see it. So you can see what I'm doing right here. That NDI camera is available here to my YOLO box. It's available to my vMix station. It's available to this phone. And I can see on all of them, I can see the picture because it's on the network. It, it, that's the magic. You don't need separate cables co to go to separate devices. Now, you do have to eventually start counting bits. So if I've got 100 megabits coming from the camera uh, going across the network, that's 100, 200, 300, 400. That's 400 megabits of stream going around the network. So you do want to you know, start counting your bits if you, if you really get into NDI. Also note that once I add my NDI camera, I come in here NDI is not available anymore. One NDI source, because again, it is a high bit rate, different codec has to be decoded and brought in and everything. So one NDI source, one NDI out. But this is a Mevo start. This is an NDI camera with a battery in it and Wi-Fi. So I could power this up. I mean, technically I could power this up. Let's try it up. Let's try it out. I'm gonna power this up, give it a second. And I don't have the I don't have the app. I didn't actually prepare for this part of it. Um, we're gonna let that boot up. So I got three batteries. We're gonna see how far it goes. It should connect to my video network here in the office. We'll see. And I am going to delete this NDI source. And then I'm going to add NDI. Boop 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. There it is. Mevo. Turn it on. Done. Now it's going to show up black because... Dun, 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 dun. There it is. There's that. If I turn it around... You can see that's, that's my camera. And it's Wi-Fi. I mean, technically, this is all you need 
to be walking around. I mean, it's, it, it's admittedly very shaky. And you can get NDI apps for your phones, Android or iOS, so that you could then use your cell phone as an NDI camera, Wi-Fi to, the, to your local area network, and then bring it in as a source from the field. Da, da, da. That's all you need. And look, this has got tally on it. I, this, this camera is live. Let's see if that actually works. Uh, let's go to something else. No, nope. okay, just saying it's on because it's not live and now it is live. Okay, so the tally is not gonna be part of the NDI spec, but if I were to bring this into vMix, green would be it's in standby, gone would be it's not in either standby or program, red means it's in program. So that was actually pretty cool. I just fired that up, it connected to my network, and I just turned it off, so I'm gonna delete it. Done. NDI is awesome. NDI, you really need to know your networking. So it's, you know, it's, it's not like there's no dis downsides to NDI. NDI requires a really good understanding of networking, bit rates, uh, local area, you know, um, networking, wireless, uh, bit budgeting and things like that. Traffic. Does replay save ISO? No. Uh, you don't replay, when you hit the replay button, you're still only hitting replay on program. Oh my goodness, Seko Frias, Indonesia. Thank you for being here, thank you very much. Uh, NDI input and output, yes. Uh, now we need to be able to rearrange the inputs. That would be great. Let's give it a try. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Not yet, <laughs> not yet. Maybe in the future, that would be great. But this is one that I have begged for. I am told that I can now put, like if I had, if I was doing a live stream, I would have comments. You see there's certain streaming things that aren't here, but da, 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 da. I can move these. Check that out. So if we're adding movable icons and we can already move the, uh, titles and overlays in that list. Um, I anticipate maybe in a future version, all of this could be user movable as well. NDI is a great improvement. It's an addition. I don't know if it's necessarily an improvement because you've already got um, uh, seven camera inputs. So um, I, have, I have NDI cameras and I don't use NDI in my regular show. Uh, do, do, do. I hate I missed the live question. I've conducted several invite tests, but for some reason I can never hear the invited guest and the guest audio is on. Help, please. Uh, that's a great technical question for the official YOLO Live user group. Uh, probably not uh, going to be able to debug one person's uh, technical issue in this show. This is more of a let's talk general topics type of show. And if you're having things that can't be solved there, again, always I recommend contact at yololive.com. Do, 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 do. Fer Mir Miron is in Argentina. Thank good to see you. I noticed that there's a minimum bit rate of 5,000 on the Ultra when in 1080p. Is this the same as on the other models? Suggest so change to 3,000. Uh, let's go check. Do, 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 do. Uh, do, 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 do. Where am I? Stream encoding settings. CBR, I got 5,000 if I go to VBR, 5,000, and uh, I'm at 30, and then if I go up to 60, I wonder if it changes at 60, 1080p. Yep, I see the same 5,000, and I, I only do this show at four, so um, I could definitely see that uh, being a change as well. And if I set it to 720p, it goes down to 1250, so that still is, um, lower and of course you can bump that up to wow 12 megabits on 720p there, there was a previous limit on the pro of seven six six megabits or something on 720p and that's clearly gone so uh that is definitely a feature request to put into the yolo live team have you tested it you, Output from the Yolo box to an external recorder in 25 or 50. The Pro, no matter what you choose, output was always 60, and Atomos can't recognize it because it wasn't constant but variable 
frames per second. I have not. Um, I am also hamstrung in the fact that I'm in the US, so every single camera I have is um, 60, 30, 60. Uh, technically, I can set my GH4 to um, PAL uh, frame rates, but I have not ever. No, I did do that once. Um, and that was just for internal recording. So I don't know what the output cadence is on that. So um, I would probably not be the right person to test that. Um, is it possible to add LUTs for image output? Nope. This is not. This is a live production tool. Um, it's not a LUT production tool. It's not a cinematography tool. Um, so it, it's not a thing that you're going to use LUTs with. You would be shooting with your cameras in a deliverable um, color space. 709 uh, is fairly uh, typical. Watching from St. Kitts. Oh, you people on the islands, just always rubbing it in. How to reduce the wind sound on a live stream. If you're hearing a lot of noise in my, if you're hearing background hiss on my stream, it's because the InStream, the Pro, the Ultra, and the Pro are all literally in front of the microphone, which is right here. So actually, I should go to my um, the other camera, but I can. Um, so I I am I'm not able to let me go. Where's oh I took that off. I'm not able to uh, decrease my noise, but there is noise reduction available in the. Did, 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 I wonder if that's in the settings here. Let's go check. Go to audio mixing. Uh, 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 they had uh, just mentioned that mic in, line in, that uh, noise reduction would be um, adjusted. So, um, and there, in an earlier version of the beta, there was actually a noise reduction button over here to noise reduction on or off, which is just like the InStream, which does have that button. And uh, so bringing that over to the Pro, I think, would be good. Although I think people still want to have the ability to turn it on and off. So that's one of those features that the details are still being worked out. Um, I'm a little concerned about the bottom inputs and the bending of the cords when we put into a case like the one Aaron creates. Um, like the Pro, you can flip the interface. Uh, let me back out of this. Do, 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 done going to leave that show. And if you go into your normal settings, remember, you can always, uh, where is it? Screen rotate. There. If you don't like which way is bottom in the Pro or the Ultra, you can rotate it and you can set it up how you want to use it because the frame size is the frame size. So you're able to pick whichever way you, you know, um, if you want to hang it from above or whether you want to support it from below, that's completely up to you. You just hit the rotate button. Now I'm going to rotate it back so that I can continue the show. Boo, 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 boo. Andreas is in Kalispra. We got a, a really good audience on Facebook. Uh, Rakumar is in India. Good to see you today. Thanks for coming back. Is there a new update for the plan for the Yolo Box Mini? I am sure the Mini and the Pro will be getting updates derived from the work that's being done on the Ultra. I think all hands are on deck for the Ultra right now because this is a big deal. And I'm sure everybody who's really excited for the Ultra wants to make sure that they that this thing just is as awesome as we want it to be. Do, 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 do. Uh, bringing that one up. Will the ISO files be compiled into one XML file? Um, the ISO file, there's no compiling ISO into XML. XML is a separate edit decision list type of file. Um, the Yolo box does not create an edit decision list. It also does not have a way to export the titles that it creates or the or um, the the scoreboard or things like that. So whether or not the value is there to uh, have an XML file, that's debatable. If enough people ask for it in the Facebook group of the YOLO live team, um, then that might be something they apply engineering resources to. But again, that's one of the key things with this device. There's so many different people want to use it in so many different ways that it's impossible to have every feature that every potential user wants to have right out of the box. But as we've seen with the other YOLO boxes, down the road, features can be added. And that is definitely something to ask for. 
Uh, hopefully with a firmware update, we'll have an actual mixer. Yeah, it's not like a, a across the screen kind of a mixer, but it still does the job for most uses where you, you just need to adjust the level and then have it sit there. Is there a card limiter? Which What kind of yards replay and minimum do not have drop frames? I would definitely go with a V30 card just to be on the safe side. Um, if you look at your SD cards, uh, most of them have ratings on them now, V10, V20, V30. I would go with a V30 card just to make sure that it has the read and write speed that you want to see. There seems to be an issue with uh, HDMI 1 causing 4K video input to lag a lot on the outro, causing YouTube stream to buffer it, but no drop frames. HDMI 2 works fine with 4K. HDMI 1 is the issue. Okay, I have not experienced that. Uh, again, like I said, I, I, I'm not bringing 4K in the mind. I look at this as a um, HD powerhouse, uh, but I know there are people that are ex more excited about the 4K. I have 4K cameras. If I want to record 4K, I record 4K in the cameras, and then I take HDMI out and I do a live switch in, in HD. Uh, do, 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 do. Any pricing on the NDI license? I see it is currently available as a trial. I don't know what the pricing is. Um, and I see that as well. And I guess we shall see what the NDI pricing is. Um, with with the OBSBOT, I know people love these little cameras. This is the OBSBOT um, Air, tail Air, that can do live streaming. And it's also capable of NDI. So this could be your entire NDI kit right here. Look at that. Ah -ha. And, but you have to pay for the license, NDI license, separate. Um, Mevo's, on the other hand, Mevo starts actually include the NDI license. I don't know how they do that. Uh, if you buy a Panasonic PTZ camera, you will have to pay $399 for an NDI license. If you buy a Panasonic NDI camcorder, you're going to have to pay $300 for the NDI license. If you buy a Sony PTZ, a Canon PTZ, uh, they all require you to pay for the NDI license, you know, on top of buying the PTZ. The only ones you really don't have to do that is the bird dogs, and the one I have is a bird dog, and that's because they are primarily NDI, full NDI cameras. So um, that's how that's working. Do, do, do. How do you make replays? Only save the file and not replay it instantly. I'd like to ha save the replays for the end of the match, not replay it during the match. Any way to do that? Uh, not as far as I'm aware yet. That I have seen other people ask about in the Facebook group. And I think primarily the people who want to do an instant replay want to do an instant replay instantly. Um, I don't know. They'd have to like redesign the interface so that you say, oh, replay, but not yet. Like, uh, capture that for a replay, but don't do it. Uh, so I, I don't really know how that would work. Uh, please try video to video transition effect on Yolo Box Ultra. I'm getting jitter. Uh, video to video. Oh, OK. So anyway, let me just get go to this. This is a new screen for those who have been looking at the Ultra. This is the, the key screen because the live streaming, that's horizontal. There's your monitor mode. But this vertical streaming has not been available in like together in one device. Now, this is what I was talking about before. If I choose live streaming, here's what you're used to seeing with your Yolo Box Pro. And then you can say, you know, create a new event or see there's a little arrow up here to go back out. Now I can go into monitor mode. I enter monitor mode. Here's my monitor mode. Again, horizontal. Now, if I exit this, done and I enter vertical, now it's set up in a vertical interface and it's gonna bring in all my camera inputs, whether upside down or not. <laughs> now, in order to show this properly, I have it running through something else. So I bring this over here, there we go. So, and then I can put myself here. So this is the Ultra. And this is, be, this is going through a computer to take the the sideways screen and rotate it and position it over there so that I can point at it like this. And it has the, uh, you'll have to excuse me because it's still sideways on my desk. <laughs> so this is what I'm dealing with, but this is what you get to see. Uh, so I can take this input and hit that and I can rotate and I can rotate. There we go. So that way I can have my inputs the same thing and I can um, I don't have, I'm not logged into anything here. 
So let's see if I can do in a cap cut. Except, do, 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 do. see my camera, allow, allow, there it is. And there you go. So it's still seeing that, and here's my camera. So these are all coming in. Well, that's coming in sideways, of course. But these are all my sources. So if you were ever using an in-stream and felt that two inputs were not enough, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, HDMI, 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 USBs, USB C's, local videos, NDI. Let's go let's go get my NDI camera. Ba 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 looking, 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 and there it is. Touch that, done. And there's my NDI camera. Actually, that's nice that that one actually came in sideways, but of course if I want to use it in a vertical world, I'd have to like fix it, you know. So that's the nice thing about the in-stream part is you're able to like rotate and flip and you know do all kinds of stuff and crop. So like if I have this input and I wanted to use it, I could rotate, rotate, and then crop, uh, fit to screen, done, done. And now I've got a bigger input. So you see that I'm able to format this for the vertical world that does not need all that wasted space on the side. And like I was talking about before, you come over here in your gear icon and you've got your different settings, portable storage management, stream encoding settings. This is a little different than you know what you're used to from the in-stream in that you go into each of these sections. You go into that section. Um, here's your record settings. Very similar to what you're seeing from the horizontal side. You can go capture all your different things. Here's your audio mixer. All your different inputs. Your titling. Of course, your titles are made in, in the vertical world. So when I bring my title on, interesting, CapCut is bringing everything in upside down. I'm going to tell them about that. And of course, your network bonding. So we can quit CapCut and we can, oh, that's my brightness. I got the brightness way down on this. There it goes. So that is a look at the vertical side of it. And like I said, the magic of this thing is you don't have to buy two devices. So if you get that one thing, that one client that wants to do Instagram and TikTok and anything vertical, uh, in the afternoon on Saturday, and then you've got a soccer game at night on the weekend, you don't have to have two different devices. You could just use the one device and switch between the different modes. And that is one of the really cool things about that. The, um, do, 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 do. I see it, I see it, I see it. Uh, Aram Production says, handpick waving, good to see you. Can you have multiple NDI sources connected to the Ultra? No. Uh, we tested that earlier, and it is one NDI input and one NDI output. Can we do a live at the same time on Instagram and YouTube? Um, if you're going vertical to both, yes. But as I stated, the, it is you're choosing between the horizontal interface for horizontal delivery or you're producing vertical interface for vertical delivery. You're not trying to do a horizontal thing and then just shove it into the vertical world. And you're not trying to do a vertical thing and shove it into the horizontal world. You want to do the, the proper, you want to deliver what the audience wants to see. Okay. I connected an Nikon D700 for a live show, both right and left side, there's a margin or dark space. Do you know why? Uh, depends on what the D7000 is outputting um, because I have not seen uh, gaps on the side, but it could be with regards to um, how it's being offset because I do know when I take in a source like the Pro over here, you can see I do have a gap on the left and right because the output of this screen is not being formatted to, to fill 16 by 9. So check the output settings of the camera. Do, 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 do. do we still expect, expect updates on the Pro? I certainly do. 
And I think the updates on the Pro are actually going to get better because they're being informed by the work that's being done on the Ultra. So like that scrolling inputs on the bottom of the um, Ultra screen. Oh, wait, let me go back. Go back. Let me go into monitor mode. Let me, I just want to show it. Uh, Ultra. So like down here, you know, being able to just scroll, let me go to the overhead. Being able to just scroll up and down, which you can't do. You have to hit a little down arrow on the Pro to flip between the top three and the bottom three. Excuse me. Um, I think this is one of those features that was developed for the Ultra. They're like, oh, wow, hey, yeah, we can roll that down to the Pro. We can make that happen and things like that. So I definitely think, you know, YOLO Live has proven over the years, even this year, they put out updates for the original YOLO box from six years ago. So I definitely expect that work will continue and updates will continue and bug fixes will continue for the Pro and the Mini. And some new things that have happened in the Pro, some new ways of doing things. You know, it, it, it's a cool engineering thing in that by taking the engineering team and giving them a blank slate and a new tool, it forces them to rethink like, oh, wait, we can... Oh, okay, well, we can make the other one just like this. So, uh, does the Pro reset itself because all my lower thirds keep deleting? Uh, if you create a show, uh, let me go out and show you this. Like, if you create a show, done. If you create a live streaming show like these, they store your information. If you just use monitor mode, you're just using it as a monitor. It's, it's not designed to save anything. But if you create a show and label it, then you can duplicate that show, give it a new name, and that will carry forward all the things that you created in that show. So that's the way to do it. Hello, Anthony. I'm Karela, God's own country of state of India. Good to see you. Welcome back. Ultra price. Well, I don't know what the price would be in India, and I apologize. I actually don't know what the currency is in India. Ruples? Um, so I know it's about $1,500, $1,450 in the U.S. Um, maybe there'll be a year-end special. I don't know. Uh, but it's going to be different in Europe. It's going to be different in India. It's going to be different in South Africa. So... Um, That would be the answer to that. I uh, purchased from Dubai Yolo Box Pro last month. Oh, well, there you go. Do, 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 do. Ooh, from Okara, Iceland. I was just in Iceland. Uh, excited about the Ultra. I missed the volcano, though. How much price for Yolo Box bonding yearly? Uh, let me go into. Uh, uh, uh. It says an annual plan of 20 gigabytes per month is $299 per year. That's what it says on the Pro. Uh, and if you have a Pro, you can ask it. It's right there in the bonding thing. Boop, 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 boop. Let me go back. India, Ob NDI Connection and H2C5 are fab on the Yolo Box Ultra. I want one even if I have to have the Yolo Box Pro already. Greets from snowy Berlin and Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings to you as well. Uh, uh, rupees. Thank you very much. Uh, as you say, I always save my shows, but every two months, all the lower thirds just disappear. Interesting, because I am in show 47, and I have just been duplicating, 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 and I still have all my lower thirds, you know, like... Uh, letting you know that my name is Anthony Barocas and I am here for YOLO Live. We have been here a whole hour talking about the YOLO box and streaming and NDI and things like that. And I thank you all for being here every week. Uh, if you are new to the show and watching on LinkedIn or Instagram or um, Facebook, know that there's a wealth of content on the YOLO Live tech channel on YouTube. That is where you can find all different kinds of tips, tricks, um, tutorials, and get you up to speed on using all the different features. If you are on YouTube, uh, know that there is an official YOLO Live user group on Facebook. Um, ooh, 
And I uh, will finish with all this. There's also a YOLO box in Espanol. I actually went too fast, so the other one's still there. <laughs> Uh, that's for native Spanish speaking, so it makes it easy. And if you want to reach out to YOLO Live directly, there's contact at YOLOLive.com. Uh, once again, before I forget, and for all those people who are watching the show, there is also, let me move my camera out of the way. There is a YOLO Live giveaway of one month free bonding. Hey, you know, one free month. So if you can go free month, free month, free month, free month, you get a whole year for free. Uh, to enter, all you have to do is go to bit.ly, uh, bit.ly bit slash YOLO dash Tech Talk Wednesdays. I'm going to look at the list. I'm going to refresh that. And it seems like... The, oh, don't jump around on me. It's picking up at line 31. I don't know why, but it just is. 31, 46, 6. Uh, so we've got 14 people already entered in this contest. And if you want to enter, all you have to do is point your phone at that cool thing over there. QR code. Type in your information. We need your name, your email address, your email address again, because that's how we are going to uh, reach you. Also, it's really helpful if you use the email address that is your YOLO Live account. So that would make it easier for them to apply the month to your account. If you already have bonding, they will add a month to the end of it. If you don't have bonding, they will give you bonding for a month. So that's how that works. And courtesy of YOLO Live, they're giving away the bonding. So I think that's a really, really cool thing. Uh, happy to see, oh, more names are coming in. So uh, George, John, Jerry, Eco, Andreas, Even, Domingo, Angria, Rakumar, Steve, Parvaz, Jatin, Guillermo, Sharif, Clemen, George, and of course, who can forget Mr. Shaughnessy <laughs> in the UK. Uh, thank you all for being here. I appreciate having this audience and I appreciate having you there to help drive the show because, you know, it's one thing for me to just you know, when I do tutorials, I'm just talking to nobody, really. Uh, I'm just doing them. And with a live show, you ask questions that help drive the show, that help guide the show to the topics that you want covered. Let me go back over here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. How is... Oh, wait. Did the setter on the scrolling text overlay get fixed? Ah, yes, that is actually... Uh, let me go back into... Let's go back out. Go to my monitor mode. Um, I I did that is one of the things I did test. Do 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 do. Uh, lower thirds. Uh, rolling caption. Oh, sorry, you're not seeing this. Let me get rid of this, and then go to this. Well, I guess I got to get rid of that too. All right, and actually going to show you a cool trick. Let me make sure. Let me go to my audio. HDMI 1. There's my audio. And I'm going to create a new text. Lower third. Rolling caption. Enter text. This is my lower third text that I am entering into my new Ultra with six video inputs on the screen at the same time. Period. And then I say, you know, do, what I want a, do I want a background? Yeah, let's put a background on it. Let's make it uh, like a dark gray. Let's put it down the bottom. Let's uh, go back. Let's make it a little smaller. Let's move it back down. Done. And bring it up. There it goes. So it is definitely smoother than in the Pro. Let me make that a little bigger so you can see it. It may be not 100% perfect, but I do feel that it is uh, working, and I do love the new voice entry, <laughs> especially for a scrolling thing that needs a whole lot of text. It just takes your microphone input and throws it right in there. So that is a really cool uh, feature that I really appreciated. I didn't have to type any of that. <laughs> Let us go back to the 
uh, comments. Uh, uh, uh. Can you do a live stress test on Ultra with all the HDMI inputs, NDI, SRT, and videos with live stream now, please? No, I can't. Um, first thing is, I don't know uh, SRT. B, I'm not set up for it. I mean, I have to like run around the room and set things up. That's that's like a legit task. Um, do, 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 do. Here we go. Digital India says it's available for uh, 148,000 rubles, rubies. Do, 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 do. Uh, HMI says, how is the new graphic for the lower third? Because the lower third on the Pro is lack of color. I don't think it does. Um, I actually think the, the lower third on the Pro is pretty vibrant. Um, but, you know, I, I haven't seen um, an issue where the lower thirds lack color, I should say. I have not seen that. Um, if you're creating them in the in the Yola box, when they say blue, it's blue. Uh, it doesn't come out as like sandy blue, it comes out as blue. Uh, do, 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 do plus lower thirds, bright red, put it right here, done, bring it up. I mean, it's so red, it's like bleeding red on the screen. I mean, I don't have, I do have the output coming over uh, here. No, that's the Pro. Ultra, there we go. And then I can make this and come over here. Oops, not the NDI out. Go away. Turn off. Do, 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 do. And make it full screen. So that is pretty darn red. Um, I don't find that's on top of the other title. I don't find the titles to be very uh, low saturation on mine. Am I using the Z1F camera? No, I'm using the original uh, Z1, no. ZV1. That's the ZV1. And you can tell it's the ZV1 because when you bring something up, it focuses really fast. So it has that uh, product demo mode. And I use the ZV1 because it has an optical zoom, not the F, because that does not have a real optical zoom. Although the new one with an optical zoom that's wider would be cool, but I don't necessarily need wider. As you can see right here, on the green, I actually am seeing the camera's own lens and the reflection of the mirror that I use to flip. Is there any way to mute my own mic when bringing in a guest? I'm always stuck listening to my own voice when I want to talk to my guest. I did a show on that. So go back a couple lives um, talking about bringing in remote guests. The solution is to bring yourself into your own show as a guest. Then listen to this. Use, you know, your microphone goes into here, your audio comes out of here, and you have mix minus into this. So you will not hear yourself. So that is the solution for that. Is there any plans to have Stinger transitions available in the future? Maybe Yolbox Ultra. That is a possibility. Uh, I don't know. You could, you could technically be in thing, hit a video, and then go over there. Technically. Uh, you could also... Do, 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 video switching, no, not that. Local, no, not that. Uh, transitions, the video source transition. So you could do uh, a wipe with a really short transition and then have a video source and then like I'm here, ready, and wipe. Look at that, it's kind of a stinger, but not really. Uh, but that's, I, I know what you're looking for. And uh, when I do things in vMix, vMix does have stingers. But the downside with changing your source transition is now everything is a wipe. And that just does not look good. So, yeah, I know what you're saying. Um, it would be cool to have that, especially as part of a replay, because it's it, people are used to seeing it on broadcast television. But it's very difficult to recreate um, thus far in an Android tablet. Panasonic Lumix G85 camera possible to connect to Yolobox. Yes, I have uh, Panasonic GH4. I have GH3s, and they all just have, you know, HDMI out dongles on them. I'll rotate it so you can see it. HDMI out dongles. And I have brought those in as 4K and as um, HD. So they work fine. <clears throat> my Ultra is taking hours to charge from 56%, and now it's at 73% using my fast charger to charge it. Surely it should charge a lot faster, right? It's a big battery. 
It's a big battery. If you hold the Ultra in your hand and you hold the Pro in your hand, <laughs> there is a distinct weight difference. The Ultra battery is much bigger. Uh, I encountered the same thing and uh, I actually upgraded to a laptop charger. So I don't know which charger you have um, using my fast charger. Uh, it used to be that the uh, power charger for the Pro and the Mini and the InStream is three amps at five volts. Three times five is 15 watts. The Ultra is a 45 watt device. That's more than double. So the cable that comes with the Ultra is thicker. It's thicker because the wires are thicker to deliver more power to the Ultra. So uh, it certainly behooves you especially and it's a big battery so and by law in most countries they cannot be shipped fully charged um you would need to take the time when you first get it to put it on a charger and let it spend the time to fully charge i did have the thing go for over three hours with multiple inputs auto switching and streaming it was just insane the thing just kept going and that that was amazing so yes, uh, very cool. But Lumix Camera Micro HDMI, therefore how to connect to Yolobox. There are converters. As, as I said, you get a converter like this, plugs into your camera. And since I have the Sony ZV-1, I can do this with a tiny little end and then the full size HDMI you get a little converter like that. You can get them with micro, you can get them with mini, you can even get them with the YOLO Live name on them. <laughs> if you go to a conference that YOLO Live is at. And then you plug it in like that, and now I have a full-size HDMI. Also, but be very, very careful. Uh, make sure you anchor the cable somewhere. Uh, let me just talk about streaming for a second. Um, like this cable is, I have it here on a twist tie, but I would take this HDMI. If you have a cage, it's better because this port on your camera is extremely fragile. Extremely. Don't bump it. Don't yank on it. Don't breathe heavy. Don't sneeze. It will break. In the camera, <laughs> the, the cameras are not designed for abuse. So when I am working in the field, uh, just give me a second. This is the camera I use and you can see it's in a cage and the HDMI is in a bracket that holds the port. It protects the port from being bumped. And then the cable comes up and comes out the front so that if somebody were to trip on the cable, it comes out and it yanks on this metal bracket up here. It yank. This pulls on here, not on my port. And all of this is just to protect the camera, literally. The audio input also goes through up here. So my audio input and even my headphones, like right now there's no headphones plugged in, but that would also go through here. So I would have two of these pigtails and one HDMI and that's how this camera sits when being used on a tripod, but plugged into other devices. So that's my main production camera. You can tell because it's, oh, it doesn't have a number one. Yeah, it does, but it's, it's underneath the cage. So protect your gear. The more you protect your gear, the longer the gear will work for you. <laughs> Mr. Anthony, you are a humble, simple, and great man. That bless you. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, since the Yolobox Ultra can record ISO, would it be able to have multiple replay selections also? Right now, no. Replay is still focusing just on the program. And if you think about it, if I am recording program camera one, camera two, camera three, camera four, that's five records, and technically it's also doing replay. So it's also recording program in a way that it can play it back into the program that you're, you know, so there's technically like a virtual sixth. 
That's a lot. Uh, da -dun -dun -dun. Thank you for your work. Always a go when I need to learn. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate you saying that. Um, the HDMI port on the GH4 is crap. Had to send it for service three times. Yes, they are very, very delicate, which is why I have the cage system. And I have had that on there for five years now, and I have not had to replace an HDMI port <laughs> yet. Um, but yes, they are very, very delicate on any camera. It does, it's not just rest restricted to the GH4, any DSLR. Um, okay, the GH6 actually has a full-size port with screw mounts, but um, for the most part, anything tiny is going to be very, very fragile. Does the Ultra come with a charger? Uh, that's actually a good question. Um, I have a pre-release, so mine did not, but I, I think... The word is that uh, they do, but I don't want to overspeak myself, so uh, I'm going to let other people jump in and answer that one. People who have received it, retail. Uh, uh, uh. Do, 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 do. Looking back through the comments, I think we did uh, pretty good. Yes, I answered, I answered this one. I saw this one go by. Uh, how long can the battery last for 4K streaming? <sighs> okay, I don't know who you're streaming to, what audience you're streaming. I don't know what the content is that requires that much resolution. I don't know what screens your audience is watching on that is going to be able to display that kind of resolution. And I don't know the bandwidth you have available that's going to facilitate that level of production. But that said... Um, I get, I did over three hours, but I was doing HD. I did not do a 4k multi 4k input auto switch, uh, record and stream. I did an HD stream, so it should be comparable, but 4k is more data. So it may be less. Uh, uh, uh. so, uh, we've been going for an hour and 15 minutes to do, do, do. Ah, Dan Edison, plane spotting says, yes, it comes with a charger. So, yes. Okay, that that was, they, you know, they pushed it back because uh, the word is, the, the word was, you know, from the beta team saying, this thing is a beast. And people are going to plug it into their Yolo Box Pro charger and be like, man, it just trickle charges forever. But even that said, I went and I bought... Um, this one, I bought this. It's a honking charger, and it's got two... Does it say it on here? Probably doesn't, because uh, things like this usually don't. 65-watt laptop charger. 65-watt. It's got two 65-watt outputs on, on this charger. And this is what I have added to my production table here. And it is powering multiple devices. Actually, it is powering the YOLO Box Ultra right now. Yep, it's powering the YOLO Box Ultra right now using the thick cable that came with the Ultra. And I'm able to keep the Ultra at 100%, uh, which you can see up there in the right corner. And you can see it's got the charging and 100%. So um, I've got it on. I'm, I'm using it. I, it's, it's doing conversion for all these inputs. So it's using... Ooh, don't select itself. Um, <laughs> It's using a lot of power, and it's a powerful device. It's the Ultra, so you have to treat it as such. You have to make sure that you've got copious amounts of power, and if you were going to use an external battery, like I've used a small 3-amp output battery for my Pro, and it worked great. That battery I used for my Pro is not going to suffice for the Ultra. The Ultra is a bigger, more powerful machine. You know, just like your BMW wants 93 octane gas and your Hyundai does not and get along with 87 octane. Same with the Pro and the Ultra. They're going to want more. Uh, HMI port wiggles. Will that hang the entire yellow box? Or is that fixing my Ultra? Uh, do, 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 do. Well, I, I've got... Well, if your HDMI port wiggles... Uh, do, do, do. Well, like I'm looking at it now. And if I were to just yank that out and then plug it back in, you know... This is a don't do that at home test, but you can see that I just yanked it out and plugged it back in, and there's my input down there. It reordered it. It put one at the end of the list as opposed to at the front, 
but it didn't crash, didn't hang, it just kept going. Uh, uh, uh. Does the Yolo Box Pro take 5G? It does not do 5G. It is a 4G because the 5G chips still cost more, which would have raised the price on the Yolo Box Ultra. Also, if you're streaming, the, the whole point of 5G is that it can deliver data faster to your device. You can now browse the web super fast. You can now download a movie super fast. None of that helps with streaming. Streaming is an upload speed. And depending upon what service you're using, some of the 5G services are still 4G up. So why invest in 5G if, it, if downloading is not what this device is about and uploading is still 4G? Also, and here's the other hidden benefit, if half the people at a concert have new 5G phones, ooh, I've got my 5G phone and I'm on 5G and it says 5G, guess what they're not using? They're not using 4G. And if they're not using 4G, that means there's more bandwidth available for you. Yolo Box Pro would not accept any third-party cables. How about the Ultra? Um, I've got third-party cables in several of the devices on the table. I have, uh, here, I'll hold this one up. Well, okay, it's a mini, but uh, let me come over here. So, like I said, I just bought that power adapter, and most of the outputs are USB-C. So I went and I bought power delivery cables to plug into my devices. So now I've got red cable, red cable, red cable. I've got a bunch of red cables on the table to power these devices from the new power supply. And this is at 100%. The Ultra, uh, the InStream, I'm guessing is 100%. I've got InStream up. Yeah, it's at 100%. So they're doing their job. Um, I would reinvestigate the cable, the third-party cable that you used. It may not be that it doesn't like third-party cables. It may be that it doesn't like that third-party cable. Do, 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 do. Is a two-pin charger. So if you're in the UK, you have to get a travel adapter for it to work in the UK. I have to plan on live streaming air shows and trace on 4K YouTube for better. Uh, do, 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 do. Is the Ultra supporting USB mics? I know the Pro is not. Good question. Uh, I actually have not seen that mentioned in the uh, beta testing. There, th It is bringing in USB audio from a mixer, but I don't know if it supports USB mics directly. Um, that's a good comment to throw into the Facebook group, which hopefully I could then see and remind me. I can test that. I just got the USB mini two days ago. Can I add a cropped and shot up my HDMI source as another video source as I've seen done on the Pro. Thanks so much. I believe you can. Uh, 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 I don't have the output of this set. Look at that. It's not an ultra question. Go figure. Let's go overhead. Go here. All right. So this is the mini. I've got a video playing. I don't have a camera input. This is just output. Uh, let's go here. I'm going to go to that. I'm going to say cropping. I'm going to say make it really tiny. Fit to screen, done, save as new, yes. There you go. I've got this and I've got my cropped input and I've got my further away input and I've got my cropped input. Although because it's a video, it's resetting the clock every time, but that's not gonna be the same. Uh, it does. There's no reset my camera input like that. Let's go back out to the number one. Uh, do, 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 do. I just answered that one. Uh, it's a two-pin charger, so if you're in the UK, you have to get a travel adapter for it to work in the UK. Um, just make sure, read the fine print on the charger that make sure it's a worldwide adaptable voltage. Most of them are these days. They make one that will accept 220 or 110, and then you just need to adapt the physical plug, which is you know usually just a couple dollars. Can the Ultra take SRT as an input source and output as live live stream uh, output yes the the input right here if you go to input source you can come down here and there's srt right there so if you are good at srt again that's a networking thing you have to do a url you have to make sure your ports are open you have to make sure one's the caller one's the listener 
And then the last time I tried to do it, I was receiving, but I was called the caller and the person who was sending was called the listener. It was very confusing. So I have not been successful at SRT, which is very funny because I do streaming, but it, SRT is still a little trickier than your average streaming. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, note, oh, here we go. Do, do, do. Note to all USA users, when you ask for a SIM card, don't get the 5G SIM. It will not work with bonding. Make sure you get the 4K, 4G SIM for bonding. He learned the hard way. So thank you very much for putting that in there. I wanted to make sure I got that up there from, uh, I'll put it up, up there again. Dallas Cricket Live, thank you very much for um, throwing that in and allowing me to be able to put it up on the screen. Um, because yes, 5G SIMs are going to prioritize 5G and because there's no 5G modem in here, you're gonna have an issue um, because the, the network is going to know, oh, that's a 5G SIM. I, I recognize the number on it. That, I'm gonna to try to send the data over 5G. And this device is gonna be like, I don't hear you. Which is a good video transmitter? Um, I have the, uh, I have a Holy Land. This is a three, 300, they have a 400, they have uh, much bigger ones. This is the very, very basic one. Uh, it's been okay for me, it's, it's done what little I've needed to do wirelessly, um, but there are other ones. And basically with wireless transmitters, you get what you pay for. If you pay $399, you're gonna get $399 you know, quality and, and distance. If you pay $800, you're gonna get better quality and better distance. If you pay $2,000 for a Teradac Bolt, you're gonna get really good distance and really short latency because you paid $2,000. Do, 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 do. And I think that's pretty, let's go. Is it possible to rename the sources? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't think so, but let's go check. Oh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna delete that. Uh, go here. The, oh, let me, sorry, it's not up yet. Let me bring it up here. No, not that one, this one. You can see on the Ultra, you now get the same features as on the in stream, chroma keying, flip horizontal, flip vertical, rotate 90, cropping. So you can take your source like this and flip it horizontal. So then my shirt appears correctly. I don't have to do it with a mirror. That would be great. Yay. <laughs> but then again, if I'm using the ultra to produce the show, then I can't show you the ultra on the show. Maybe I can get YOLO live to send me another one. <laughs> I'm not going to hold my breath on that one. Um, use cropping, go back. Can I rename it? I don't think there is a rename option. Nope. There is no rename option on the sources. You can, uh, let's see, I've got this, right? Text, text font. Uh, actually, there's no naming on the titles yet either. So again, they're done. They're doing a lot of work behind the scenes and um, this is going to come out with an amazing amount of capabilities, but it will be different than the Pro. It's not the Pro, but larger. It is a different device with different hardware that is very special. 45 watts, you know, lots of capabilities. I've got six video inputs. So it's not the Pro, but more. It's the Ultra. It's a different thing. Can I share my computer screen with audience with Yolobox? I mean, I do. Look at all those people. Whoops, sorry, didn't mean to put everybody's name up there. Sorry. Um, uh, do, 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 do. How many entries do we have for the, wow, we've got a lot of entries for this week's contest. And let me put that up one more time. Uh, Dallas Cricket Live, who already gave us some excellent advice that Axon, Axon are the best. I used to stream worth every penny. Does the Ultra have a cloud hard drive option like Google Drive or OneDrive? No. Um, not for sources, not for media, not for anything. Um, not yet. I have suggested to YOLO Live that they offer, uh, as part of your account, cloud you know, media transfer, which would be really cool. But um, that has, that, that is not, that, that's got to be probably way lower on their uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> list. Get two ultra. Yeah, <laughs> I would love to. Um, and Facebook group, everybody recommends Axun SignView video transmitters. 
So yes, let me go back and let me throw this up one more time. Put this on the screen, I should say. The giveaway for a month of free bonding is courtesy of YOLO Live. You go down here to bit.ly slash YOLO Tech Talk Wednesdays and you, or you use your phone and you scan that QR code that I put up on the screen just to make it easy for you. And take your time and fill out the form as I scroll down on the list. Uh, uh, we have 20 entries already. So that's really cool. I'm going to take a drink. And I will give this just another minute or two. And as I mentioned in the... Uh, early part of the show, I do have a new laptop, and we're going to hope it works for the uh, Wheel of Names. <sighs> we're going to hope for that. And uh, if you want to win the giveaway for one month of free bonding, courtesy of YOLO Live, again, I thank all of you for being there. Uh, I suggested that we do a giveaway, and YOLO Live is generous enough to give away a month of free bonding. Uh, if you don't have bonding, it will be applied to your account. If you do have bonding, already a month will be added to your um, what you have subscribed to. So uh, the bonding works on the Pro, the Mini, the uh, InStream, and the Ultra. So if you have any of those devices, you can use the bonding. But the bonding only works with YOLO Live devices because it's YOLO Live's bonding. So from their hardware to their server. So uh, if you have a Teradek device, Bo YOLO Live bonding is not going to help you. So if you have an ATEM Mini, it's not going to help you. But if you have YOLO Box, it'll help you. So uh, now that those are up, I'm going to close that. And I will go over to the... Let's go to my laptop. All right. And I've got the Wheel of Names. What I do is I come over here and I say link it to a Google spreadsheet. And I link it with Google. And those who have seen this for the past couple weeks can already admit, like, wow, that's much faster. And that's going to go through. And it was much more successful when I tested it this morning. And it says, what spreadsheet do you want? You'll live bonding form, this one. And then we don't want the timestamp. We want the email addresses. And we say, OK. There they are. Woo! -hoo! I love it when things work. <laughs> oh, man. So the investment in a new laptop just for this show has worked out good. So what we are going to do is we are going to spin. Uh, actually, let me make sure I've got the HDMI 2 audio on as well because uh, it actually has sound with this. So uh, let me get my headphones. Yes, the table's a little cluttered. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screens. And it is a very complex show. Let's spin this. Oh, I guess I put the wrong, wrong column. But that's the person who wins. And um, I thank you all for being here today. I appreciate you every week. And uh, if you're starting to celebrate the holidays, uh, I wish you all happy holidays if I don't see you in, next, in the next couple weeks. And we probably won't have a show in the last week of December. We'll be taking that week off. But I do thank all of you for being here. I look forward to seeing you next week. If you have more questions about the Ultra, hey, Go over to the Facebook group and tell us what you think. Uh, once again, my name is Anthony Barocas. I'm here for YOLO Live. I am based in Dallas, Texas, but I'm an end user just like you, and I do live streaming for a business. In fact, I got a show in just, another show in just a couple hours. Uh, I look forward to seeing you all next week. Take care. <laughs>